Hi, hello and welcome to Swiftlim Tutorials. Now I am here to demonstrate about the Excel Pager tab that is most helpful in iOS devices and there is a library so that functions the same as Android. Just this demo shows that how to implement this with the help of Excel Page tab. So just go to the this particular URL called uh, github slash xmart labs excel pager tab strip and please make a download of this particular uh, zip file for a demo or else I will show you how to implement with this using the coco bars there are many types of uh, animations bars and tabs available that is same like uh, iOS sorry that is same like Android uh, the simple method to implement this is just open your terminal and traverse to your folder or the project root directory Just list the files. It's a n number of files that is available in my directory called documents. So now I will go through the root path. Documents. Here I have a pod file, and to get a pod file, you have to do What's install? I discovered and just sorry. Just type the command pod in it, and here it shows that it's already exist because I have already created the pod file. So this pod file is helpful for fetching the Cocoa Pod libraries into our project. Now. Now I have created a pod file so I could just go through and check it whether it is available at docu segment yeah here I could just see the pod file so here just go to that particular CocoaPods uh, github site and here they have mentioned the CocoaPod installation just copy this and paste it paste it in the CocoaPods uh, uh, that is pod file and just save it and close it now go to the terminal again and type pod install Now the cocoa pods are implemented into our project and uh, what you have to do next is just close the terminal go to the segmented ui workspace and open it so it will show something like this i have implemented a project uh, representing the uh, excel pager tab strip so the next procedure is that the pods get uh, the pods are stored in your project workspace now you can do the other functionalities like the first one is you have to just pick out a collection view and drag it and place it here just remove the cell in that collection view and you have to adjust the size so this will be the tab that will be shown to the users this tab so you could divide the number of tabs as you require and this is the layout now
just click this and uh, I have implemented a file for this particular one so I have called it as class parent view once I open this Here I have implemented a class and prior to this step you have to import the excel pager tab strip into your project. So once you import this library then you could fetch the classes from that library. So uh, there are four different types of uh, tab strip and I have chosen button bar pager tab strip view controller uh, that is inherited by the class parent class and I have mentioned the colors and other additional attributes that you require in your project space and that is available in that particular github page so the next foremost important uh, functionality is that you have to copy this method either from there or you could just make a note and you have to call the other two controllers in your project space that is going to appear once you click the tab so if child1 and here i have named it as ingg1 this controller will be triggered and once uh, the child 2 or the tab 2 is being clicked then the ingg2 will be triggered so this plays the role uh, of grouping those two controllers to that particular tab so going back to the storyboard So this is the storyboard that is named as ingg1 and this is the storyboard named as ingg2. So now these two storyboards is going to get uh, adapted, in, adapted in this controller. And one more thing to notice is that To determine the title here, you should just go to the child controllers class file and just inherit the indicator info provider. This is a class which is used to uh, show the image or title in that particular tabs. There, you have to declare the function called fun indicator info for page tab page tab switch controller and just return the indicator info title and the title name that has to be shown to the users in this particular tab and follow the same for the another child controller and foremost important is that uh, once you click the uh, collection view then you have to drag it and match it to the view and just allow the delegate methods of this collection view so this is the one this is one more important fact that everyone must make a note and also just clean build your project space after you have installed your uh, pods into your project so once everything is done here then you could run the emulator and just see this sorry for this as it is overlapped to the top by just clicking these two there is a slider animation sorry for this 
there is a slider animation that shows you the contents in two different scenarios or contexts and also these buttons do work you could also implement uh, many new different types that is available from the four other subclasses in this library thanks for watching and please subscribe and like the video and i will share a url so that which will be helpful with uh, textual documents in implementing this thank you